Welcome fellow indie players to Indie Games for Fun and welcome back to the series where we play this really awesome over the top metroidvania Blasphemous. Yesterday we had a day off and it felt kind of strange because I felt that something is missing and I wasn't sure what was that and uh, I know it was blasphemous. So without further ado let's just uh, you know jump back into the game and uh, let's continue our journey. Thanks to a uh, really cool person, Padex, I know now know how to scroll down the tooltip of the items. It's Y and H, which is um, how to say uh, pretty uh, not convenient or not uh, conventional, if you ask me. But uh, we are going to check it out how to do it. So. Um, is it the same? Yes, with H. Oh, come on. Really cool. So now we're going to read all of the stuff we just uh, missed on. Okay, so eyeball belonging to Olavaros, the scribe who glimpsed the truth hidden so many other eyes. It's uh, stony scrutiny reveals the vital essence of enemies. Cool. Okay, we know this. Okay, the muted bell. Slightly projects its wearer from attacks of magical nature. Oh, okay. And the last one, piece of tombstone, which is uh, those from the village rarely left their uh, arid lands to face the cold of the mountains, but this tombstone had undoubtedly belonged to someone from Albero. The fragment confers resistance to falls, eliminating recovery time. Oh. Okay, really cool. So now we really have to, uh, you know, um, expand our beads so we can do much more protection or maybe we can swap some of these. So when Uvula is equipped, you have a chance of earning tears of atonement when destroying an object. Yeah, we like destroying objects. Uh, strengthens the defense. Maybe, maybe we should check the weaknesses. So I'm going to equip the, the eye. Okay, really cool. Let's see what uh, what else is uh, here that we haven't read. Okay, seems like it's fully okay. Oh yeah. Okay, uh, its power finds its way through the floor, continues through the walls and ceiling, harming the enemies of the penitent one. Penitent one, sorry. Uh, the ring of a least shell horn used to precede this chant. But now only silent remains. Okay. So the only thing left is uh, we have to check out the controls. Because I want to see how we can do this accessibility. Is it? Nope. Game. Controls. Oh, okay. Interact with E. Range attack. Ranged attack. We have ranged. Oh, awesome. Okay. Cancel grab. Flask. Prayer. Inventory. Map. Okay, so maybe the U is the attack we're going to do. Not sure. Okay. We will we will check it out. Also, uh, when I uh, woke up today, I got a really cool comment that said when the first time we killed the boss, the brother of... Uh, the penitent something and we you know uh, shed the blood and uh, took it to the helmet and then uh, took it on it was basically a uh, symbolism a symbol of uh, baptism so we were baptized by blood instead of flame or fire which is pretty cool so this is these are the small nuances in a game that you know you can uh, you can think about that what was that about and uh, am I getting it right and I wasn't aware of this uh, thing at all I, th I, th I thought it's okay it's pretty edgy it's over the top and okay we took on a helmet full of blood and uh, come on this is preposterous but when I you know uh, think about this this way, okay. Now, oh, we are going to use the elevator to Albero because I uh, want to go to the other uh, other direction. Since we uh, phased a bossish type of something and we got uh, basically one hit, of course we only had like one 
you know, sip of health left, so that doesn't matter, but I just wanna, you know, do some, do some other exploration in the other side. So yeah, so uh, when you, you know, you can understand one thing in many ways, and uh, when you are not familiar with the whole symbolism, it, uh, you know, or the whole, uh, I don't know how to call it, you know, the whole team or the whole liturgy, I'm not sure what, what, what to call it, you know, sophistically. Um, so you can see a pretty different thing in it. And then when someone is, you know, knowledgeable in the current, you know, field or study or whatever, uh, they see it without, you know, any doubt. And uh, that's really cool. So thank you very much for, you know, sharing this with me because uh, the first thing I thought was, okay, this is really effed up, but I really like it, so that's pretty cool. Oh, and now that the, the eye is equipped, we see the health bars. Okay, this is going to be a whole different game thanks to that. Okay, not, not whole different, but a really different experience. So yeah, last time I uh, told you my really great story about, you know, the... GWs and JWs, sorry, and uh, we were able to get a lot of items from the peaks, and uh, we reached the the burn something something of a something of a lady of a something, because it was really really uh, you know um, long title, and a kind of charred lady of the one or, or something like that, and for some reason, based on my you know instincts, it felt. Okay, this is going to be a uh, pretty uh, harsh place uh, to start with. So maybe we should uh, check the other the other way around and uh, let's see if we can try something. And if not, maybe this is going to be a filler episode. But you know, uh, these games also have some fillery stuff. So why not? Oh, and we decapitated. Oh, I forgot this. Really cool. Okay, so I hope that you all had, you know, a uh, great day yesterday. And you are all ready to continue this blasphemous journey. I really like the imagery in the windows. One of my favorite TTRPGs is Pathfinder, the second edition. And one of the cover, the Lost Omen character guide has the same aesthetic with uh, the characters being, you know, placed in these uh, colorful uh, windows and I really like it and kind of reminds me of that. I know this is a really common, you know, Christian way of uh, how they, uh, you know, symbolize, uh, I don't know, saints or, or other uh, important religious figures in the uh, windows of a church, but it looks really great. So. Of course, you know, harping on the negative things of uh, the whole Christian religious stuff. I do find, for example, uh, churches really nice and uh, really interesting as, you know, architecturally and uh, the whole aesthetic of, you know, uh, uh, gathering people around because uh, it was, uh, you know, the main hub every time back in the uh, Middle Ages and uh, after that as well and uh, of course so you can definitely find a lot of uh, positive things about uh, oops I uh, used the flask because I wasn't paying attention also oh, this is the this is the ranged attack that we are doing oh wait a second so with the U I can get back some uh, some resource resources and we are uh... oh man okay hmm so after uh, like five uh, gameplays, uh, five gameplay episodes, uh, it turned out I can do a lot of different things with this character. Awesome, you know, this is how you learn stuff. Uh, and maybe this is going to be a dead end right now because we do need some kind of key to continue on this journey <laughs> or maybe we can, you know, go up, but hmm, okay. Is it a way to go there? Or that was the only way when we, where we, you know, went last time. You're really not sure about it, to be honest, though. 
I was pretty focused on the peaks, the graveyard peaks. So let's see that we can, uh, you know, move around here or not. And of course, uh, without dying, hopefully. Yeah, that it cannot uh, slide through the defenses of the shield, of course. Because he's, you know, holding it for a reason. So yeah, so it's a it's a really you know pulverizing polar oh, not pol not pulverizing is something different polarizing thing that um, based on okay maybe I should uh, shut up for a quick second while the hazard is uh, <laughs> you know why the hazard kill us so it's a pretty polarizing thing you know this whole religious thing and I'm pretty sure that uh, not only in Christianity and all the religions all over the world are kind of you know polarizing so I do not or maybe I uh, lack uh, you know the knowledge or uh, knowing many people who says that but I was not able to find many or even a single person who said that Basically, I don't have any, you know, opinion about religion. It's pretty natural, neutral to me. And you know what? If they want to do this, why shouldn't they do, I don't know, this? And, and that's it. So, old people I know, of course, including myself, um, we all have a, uh, oh, oh, okay, a positive and a negative, uh, you know, I don't know, feeling about the whole religion and stuff, and uh, it's pretty polarizing, if you ask me, but to be honest, I like polarizing things, because if something is just, you know, being totally neutral, and you says, oh, okay, okay, it's, why not, it's there, it's been there, I know it's it, it exists, but I really don't care about it, because it doesn't matter, not of the rosary rope, okay, I, I'm not a big fan of uh, things like that, and to be honest, blasphemous, is a really really cool example of this because if you see this game I think you can really hate it despise it because you I don't know don't understand it or it's too much or you know offends you in many ways and the and the other part and uh, I think a lot of people would feel this that wow this is just something really not ordinary this is really, really cool, and I want to have this, you know, understanding of the full thing, and it's just amazing. So, yeah, and this, this is what I feel about it. Although I had my doubts in the beginning, but I am fully sold on this now, so we are going to complete the game for 100%. I'm not sure if we want to, you know, do the full completionism stuff, because I'm not the biggest completionist, but... I want to complete the game as much as we can, so you can expect many episodes after this one as well. So, but you know, for let's focus on the task at hand, not of a rosary rope. Rope not made from the threads of habits of monks deceased in ancient times. Whoa. Okay. Really cool. Now that uh, we use the, you know, the elevators, extra stuff, and I'm pretty sure we cannot jump up there. So what we're going to do is let's go down and let's go to the right side and uh, see if there's a way that we can go around or there is some, you know, unexplored stuff that we should really get. And if not, well, you know, this is part of the adventure. Uh, these games do have a lot of, uh, you know, trial and error stuff, in my opinion. You know, if you just, you know, think about the whole uh, mechanism learning of how specific enemies, uh, you know, act. And uh, you want to learn it to exploit it. Oh, I want it to be too tactical. So come on. So yeah, it's a, it's a nice trial and error sequence, I guess. And uh, if we, you know, if we won't find anything that we need there, from there, well, that's it, I guess. Let's explore these uh, stone throwers. Just 
really quickly checking the map that if we, you know, we've been there, so that's pretty cool. Right, slide. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of the stone throwers because they are pretty annoying. Based on the movement of the enemy, for some reason I, I always think that if he, you know, just jump, uh, you know, behind it, it's going to change direction with the statue hitting and the only reason I feel about this is because the one of the enemies were able to do that so uh, you know the the bomb thrower uh, girl or lady or demon or whatever was able to do that uh, change the you know the projectiles direction in midair and uh, it was really really a traumatizing uh, you know experience so I don't want to do the same mistake once again. So let's jump behind it. Hi there. Let's uh, see. So for some reason it turns really, really uh, suspiciously. And of course if I uh, wanna, you know, slide under it, then that's not going to happen. Because uh, who would, you know, let someone slide under her, him? I mean, of course, the, there are specific reasons that you let someone to slide under you, but um, not in this case, I guess. Okay, so uh, we have almost full health and one elixir left, so I would say this is going to be okay. Really quickly checking the map. Okay, so let's get let's get the regret stuff back, or you know, uh, taken down. Because oh man, why would I do that? I really like this track. It's kind of like a Diablo-esque stuff. Pretty sure I said that. And I do feel like that uh, this game is, uh, you know, shares some kind of aesthetical similarities with the Diablo franchise. I mean, the old, the good old uh, Devil franchise, not the ridiculous new one. That basically no one cares about in my opinion i mean okay a lot of people are interested about uh, the fourth episode of uh, the devil but i checked the gameplay and you know that's just not for me and of course you know i'm not a big fan of uh snowstorm the company anymore i was a hardcore snowstorm fan back in like 15 years but after a few years when I uh, mainly focused on playing, uh, you know, indie games, I just just cannot, uh, you know, play their titles anymore. But, you know, that's a whole different story that I am planning to make a video about. It's uh, going to be called Why Am I Team Indie? And I want to, you know, tell the whole story about, uh, you know, what happened and why I basically switched teams. Because, of course, I played AAA titles back in the day. But then a few interesting things happened and uh, I, I don't know, changed allegiances. That does not sound really good. Uh, it sounds like I'm a turncoat or something like that, but no. Oh, oh. Okay, so should we go down first? It looks like an endless pit to me, so no. What is this? This is a really nice place. Oh, the guy once again. Indeed, sister of mine. Our encounter is approaching. Oh, boy. The miracle will protect me. I do not need your protection this time. Sure, if you say so. Is he going to come? No. Okay, for some reason I thought that he's going to follow us and this is going to be the encounter. Mercy dreams. Okay, so let's really hope that uh, a shrine is waiting for us here. Oh, well, yeah, the regret uh, cleansing stuff is here. And... Uh, no, guilt, not uh, not regret. Come on, well, you know, similar words, but, you know, guilt. And I also have a, a really interesting question for you guys, because 
Uh, not many of you know, but this is not my first YouTube channel I ever made. And I am really into music. Mostly metal. Obviously, yes! Yes! Okay, never felt better, you know, to find a checkpoint in a single game, to be honest. So I am, I am really, really big into metal. And uh, I really like when games and metal meet. So I do have a second channel that I'm going to link when uh, the video is uh, coming out. And my question is, of course, I'm going to make it, but I really, really, I would be really interested in your response. So uh, I've done some, some of these videos uh, back in the days when I uh, used uh, oh, okay. Wow, dude has uh, a whole, you know, candelabra in his hand and uh, using it like a spear or a trident. Okay, what a cool thing. So, uh, I'm going to, sorry, going to continue on the question, but I just, you know, have to react on what I've seen here. So, these are the small nuances of a game that, you know, makes me feel that this was made with a lot of care and a lot of love because. For example, look at this one. This guy is a undead. Okay, undeads are in games, that's pretty common. But this dude has a whole, uh, you know, candelabra as a weapon used as a trident. And I know this works really well with the team, but you know, to make this, it needs someone who's really creative and in the, in the, you know, the full, fully committed to the whole team of the game and this is what I like in indie games and other cool games because you know if you ask someone what should be a weapon of an undead you know a sword what else uh, I don't know spear okay cool but how about a candelabra that's used as a uh, trident this is a ingenious idea if you ask me truly ingenious okay so back to the question trying to not uh, you know uh, jumping from topic to topic so um, back in the days uh, I made a few videos uh, about uh, Pathfinder Kingmaker Hades other stuff like that so I really like mixing uh, you know game dialogues and stuff like that with metal and I do think that Blasphemous is a really great material for that and of course mostly black metal because uh, you know the whole religious element of the game and the whole uh, you know aesthetics and feelings and atmosphere of the game just you know screams for some black metal so what I'm going to do is use all the cinematics that we've already seen in the, in the playthrough and use their dialogues as a some kind of you know lyric basically to the to the track so what do you think would you be interested in something like this you know hearing the first i don't know the first few of course and well when we progress further uh i'm going to do it with all of the the other stuff but would you be interested in hearing you know the first uh the first uh, cinematic the whole thing when they talk about it, you know, not the sun has risen only our sins, and uh, when the when the really nice lady kills herself with the statue that we use as a sword and stuff like that. So, would you be interested hearing it as a uh, you know a black metal track and uh, fully so with drums, guitar, bass effects, stuff like that, and as a lyric or the lyrics of the song, it's uh, going to be you know, the dialogue of the intro. So I'm going to, you know, pin it in the comments because of course this is in the middle of the video, so maybe not many of you will watch it until, you know, this or something. But you know, it would be really interested if uh, if I die here, of course. Uh, if some of you would be interested in this kind of, you know, collaboration or mashup or mix or I don't know how to call it, because in my opinion, it's a really, really great thing. I do, uh, you know, enjoy making these uh, type of videos. And uh, of course, playing games uh, can be really inspiring to, you know, make 
different type of music because the whole imagery, the whole uh, atmosphere of the game, and the whole uh, everything is just uh, really, really inspiring and, you know, mostly metal themed. So, okay, now we are going to go back and uh, max our HP and then I try to focus on the gameplay because this is a bit harder part and maybe I should not, you know, get invested in other ideas instead of uh, progress. So yeah, that, that was my question. I'm going to pin it into comments. Ah. And we will see how it turns out. You know, it's going to be a uh, shameless self-promotion, but you know, whatever, I guess. Okay, so these enemies are really, really cool, and they are not easy, to be honest. But we are going to take them down, of course, as well. And what I don't understand is they can block with these? Or what's, what's happening? Because it feels like I hit them, but it doesn't feel that way, to be honest. Oh, and I uh, slided into them, so that wasn't a good idea. So the dude is almost in full health. What what the fuck is going on? I mean, I do hit them. So what's what's the big idea? Oh, so they they do. Oh, they can block with. Oh, okay, so they can bl see. I hit them, and in mid animation, they cannot be hit. Wow, is it uh, you know is it intentional, or is it a bug? Sorry, I have to ask it because, you know, it's kind of a professional problem that I have that um, testing a lot of, uh, you know, gameplay stuff and... So see, the first two hits, when they, uh, you know, uh, when they stop with the moving, it's not getting landed. Land, landed, landed, yes, not getting land. Did. So, uh, it's, uh... It's kind of frustrating, if you ask me. Let's see. We only have really low HP. So maybe what I try to do first is try to, you know, slide through the enemies. Ah. And of course, not today. But maybe that's not going to happen. Freaking hell, come on. So if I slide from the front, uh, you know the the dude is uh, blocking me with the with the with the trident. Hmm. Okay. Pretty interesting, if you ask me. So let's see. Let's see now. See, you cannot hit it in mid animation. Okay, that's uh, that's going to be a question I will ask the devs about. So see, when it uh, what wh what is this? Is it is it is it a uh, you know, is it a stuff in the game that uh, you have a slight chance of uh, missing or or just not not hitting the enemies or do they have some kind of resistance that I don't understand or. Uh, or, or what's with that? Please let me know if you have, uh, you know, more experience about this because this kind of makes uh, the gameplay a bit more harder than... Okay, so now... Okay. So, once again, they won't reach us. Cool. So, uh, we have to keep this in mind that... Uh, Okay, so how to get rid of them easily? Okay, let's, let's uh, you know, let's separate them, I guess. <laughs> or no. And, uh, don't let stun lock us, I guess. Okay, cool. One is down, so it's, he's not going to uh, reach us. And, of course, you, if you hit him... Uh, mid casting or mid hitting, it won't it won't interrupt it. So that's kind of bummer. 
Ooh, okay. Haha, <laughs> of course. Hell of a reach. Get rid of him as soon as possible. Use the prayer. Which is a really cool looking effect. Okay. Use the stuff and get rid of him now. Oh, okay. Ah. Woo. We uh, you know slide it through the hits. Okay. Almost full HP. Maybe we can do this. So I have to focus on the shades. Oh, with the hit. Ah! No, 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 no. Please don't. Guild fragment recovered. Okay. Screw you with your reach. Come on. I really like how. This, it's, this is a dab. Like, you know, a kneeling dab. He's like dab. Pretty cool. I know it's not a not a thing anymore, but it's just funny. Okay, so let's see if we can. Okay, you sure? Mm, you know, we have to be aggressive with these guys. Just knock them back with their uh, really cool-looking casting stuff. Haha! <laughs> of course, you know the classic one that we are. Uh, I would I would call this the Aladdin. Oh, sure, sure. Why not? Okay, so let's see the let's see the map. Okay, maybe it's easier to see this because uh oh, oh sure. Oh, and we cannot uh Is it possible to block these? I'm not sure about this. Ah! No. You know. You cannot jump while logged in the animation, so Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Never mind. Next try. So now that uh, we kind of getting familiar with the scenery, now I can talk about random stuff. I guess not 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 fully random, but something that is kind of you know goes with the topic. So see until uh, until it not uh, lifts the the weapon, you cannot hit it. I just really have to ask this. You know, I don't want to, you know, uh, talk about this too much, but it just seems kind of unfair. Or you, I know that this game is is largely, largely unfair uh, in most ways, but I mean, not not unfair. I'm just going to take this back because I don't want to piss anyone off because it's not unfair. It's just it's just hard. That's it. Ah. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, the reach. The reach. Come on. Let's pray. Let, okay, let's use the prayer. Come on, screw you. Jump. Okay. Okay, we killed the last one. Now, we, okay, we are on half HP and we still have a, a flask, so this is going to be great. And we're going to go to the left, I guess. And if, he, if I am correct, we need five thousand for the for the defensive stuff. So we are going to get it pretty soon. Defensive fragment or the charred something. Come, 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 come. Oh, cool. We have it. So now we have to. Oh boy. Yep. Oof. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. Cool. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's uh, let's swing the flask because now the the stuff is going to be problematic. Do I have to drop this? No. It's okay. Ah boy. You know what? Let's go on. The, let's go to the right. Oh, what is this? What is this? Sarcophagus. You have acquired sec. Oh 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 oh. Okay, sure. Like in every TTRPG. Okay, you have a coffin that you can open. Did you open it? Yeah, sure, I open it. Okay, then something is going to happen. Seguria to your eyes like stars. The brief him to the night skies overwhelms the penitent one with the fury of the righteous. 
increasing the speed of his attacks for some time. Yes, please. But is it? Is it the Q? Yes. Oh, look at this attack speed. Oh boy. Okay, this is going to be our stuff. Uh oh. I'm not sure. Can we? I just want to try it. That can we, you know, pair with this? Nah. Okay. Don't want to waste too much time. Okay. So four four uh, tiers left, and we can get some cool items. But we have to go back, of course. Uh. rid of this oh what is this what is this it's a pope or uh i don't know hello you have a really nice chair come on i just you know i just said you have a nice chair and you stab me it's not really christian of you if you ask me cool. oh boy oh we have an item there and of course the big one is there with the candelabra so can we get this yes of course we can get this hmm let's check the map is it oh this is a shortcut no it's not is it it's not damn it i thought this is a shortcut <gasps> i thought this is a shortcut is it a It's a shortcut to death. Oh boy. Damn it. I don't think that we can uh, do like a... Do like a... Uh... No. There is no way to zoom. Oh, I mean not zoom. Uh, what's the word? You know, teleport. In this game. Because that would be just too easy. You know, one. One more run. And uh, I am pretty positive that we can do this. So once we learn the moveset of the of these guys. And of course if I don't uh, click the... You know. Come on. I uh, missed the shift key. For some reason. And I wasn't able to slide. Okay. So. Once again. I am pretty sure that we can tackle this one. And uh, if I uh, was, uh, you know, reading the map correctly, we can have a nice shortcut to this place. Is so it just going to slide? Get away and uh, slide behind it once again and kill it. Okay, so this is uh, maybe the most, you know foolproof uh, tactic of uh, getting rid of these guys just you know just sliding behind them and uh, execute them of course not like this but something like this ah! okay awesome slide there oh, fuck. Okay, missed the key. Never mind. Oh boy, it's not going to be right. What am I doing? Come on, dude. Focus. I mixed the keys for... And no specific reason. <laughs> you know, I just... Uh, botched the whole... Uh, try... Why? Why can't you take a hit? Uh, like mid attacking. Okay, that's not going to work. We only have a really small amount of HP left, so maybe this is going to be an extra. Or maybe if I am getting more aggressive, then, then we will have it. Ah, oh, no. I 
thought that if I just, you know, slide there, you know, open with a slide, that we can get uh, far enough to just touch these, but maybe that's not the case, unfortunately. So let's wait. No, not dropping the ledge because uh, the bad ones are there. No, it's uh, not openable once again. So we have to go this way. Hmm. Can I just not? Of course. Okay, it's going to be fine, I guess. I use this one. So I do brutal attack speedy attacks. Stun lock them. Exploit. I exploit your throne. Cool. Jump up. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Come on, you know, just slide there and let's go. And get rid of these. Nah. Just jump right into the uh, the projectile. But I think we can have. The oh yes. Oh yes. So maybe we're not going to spend uh, 5,000 on this. Ooh, three different items. Is she... Be of the miracle, penitent one. Is she saying the same? No, no. So, okay, so let's check the items. I present to you, though a small piece, its great power should not be underestimated. Most of the time. Trust me, for I have the blood of kings on the palm of my hand. Okay, this is uh, kind of disturbing. So, key to the chamber of the Eldest Brother. Oh, a forbidden key that was guarded by the Eldest Brother of the Brotherhood that we killed, I guess, but was eventually lost, thus forever sealing the chamber it opened. Yes, please. Really cool. Now we are going to unlock one different part of the map, I guess. Yes, 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 she says the same. Empty tarnished sphere, hollow pearl. There is no trace of uh, necker, neck knocker, necker left, but it retains just a hint of uh, bluish sheen. It creates fervor when destroying surrounding objects. Yes, or maybe we have this already. I'm not sure if there's a duplication in this game. Yes, you will be blinded if you lie. Okay. A moss preserved in glass. Awesome. Minute jar filled with moss. The tiny white flowers that shimmer inside can grant some protection against toxins. So there will be toxins in the game. Oh boy. Of course there will be toxins in the game. Man, you know, just uh, we cannot catch a break. Is it going to be this one? No. There is another direction and based on the map, that was a dead end. So let's see what uh, we have to expect here. Ah, ooh, okay. Can we slide? No, we just have to go down there. Okay, nice amount of time we have here. I guess. For sure. Oh boy, what? No, no. Why? No. What was that? Freaking hell! Please. Okay, with this uh, really nice shot to the chest, I guess, uh, I think we can say that it was a really, really cool run. We've done a lot of cool things, uh, experienced a lot of cool uh, cool stuff once again from the game, and uh, it is really, really awesome that uh, it feels like to me that I'm kind of getting, you know, the grab of uh, the things. But of course, uh, what I uh, forgot to do is upgrade the um, Makulpa skill tree, which is the first thing we are going to do uh, the next gameplay that is going to happen tomorrow. So uh, now that we changed direction and went to the right side of the map after Albero, we are here in uh, the Mercy Dreams, and there are still a nice amount of stuff that we can discover 
we were able to find the shrine in the upper left part and uh, yeah cool enemies the sperry candelabri you know skeleton is one of my favorite and uh, yeah so I you know prompted the question to you guys I'm going to pin it on the comment but please let me know because uh, I'm going to make it but I, it would be interesting to see how many people said that yeah this is a good idea or maybe dude no that's uh that's not a good idea or maybe i'm gonna make a poll about it no i don't know pin it poll it that's the that's the best way so thank you very much for joining once again to this really awesome experience and journey and uh, adventure and cool stuff like that if you happen to like the videos or the content of my channel, please consider giving thumbs up to the videos because in this case, the algorithm gods will pick it up and more people can see it. And of course, if you, you know, find it entertaining, a subscription to the channel would be much appreciated. I also have a coffee page where you can support my work directly from the smallest amount of one euros. You can make some, you know, uh, what's the word, I'm co not cooperation, but, you know, help out the channel, because what I do is buy indie titles to make content out of it. So thank you very much once again for joining, and see you tomorrow, blasphemous ones.